Today, I just want to go over some of the issues related to multiple organ dysfunction syndrome, multiple organ dysfunction syndrome, and uh, just talk uh, generally about that. Basically, the primary case of uh, MODS is due to trauma, but there are a lot of secondary things that can lead to multiple organ dysfunction syndrome. Among those are a response to septic shock, uh, systemic inflammatory response syndrome, in the elderly, it can be due to chronic illness. It can be the response to surgery, to malnutrition, or immunosuppression. So there are many different avenues that can lead to multiple organ dysfunction syndrome. Always remembering, of course, that the primary reason for it is some sort of trauma directly to the organ, but, um, or that region, to the organs in that region. However, secondarily, it can be the result of all of these other issues um, related systemically to the body. Now, some of the symptoms that show that this is actually taking place are, first, uh, lung dysfunction uh, leading to respiratory issues, a metabolic increase, slight fever, and mental changes are some of the uh, preliminary precursors to indicate that uh, MODS is uh, happening. So, basically what's called for, once you start seeing these symptoms and one of these other things is in play, uh, what you do is you address the primary cause and you need to know what the primary cause is as near as you can tell so that that is being dealt with. Uh, often you can get sidetracked to the secondary thing in dealing with the uh, organs themselves, uh, their dysfunction when basically there's actually a cause prior to that that needs to be dealt with. So find the primary cause, deal with that, maintain nutrition and tissue perfusion and recovery is then possible as uh, the body works and the organs take up their normal functions. But you've got to address the primary issue, maintain nutrition and tissue perfusion, and that becomes possible. However, in most cases where MODS occurs, where this multiple organ dysfunction syndrome sets in, 75% of those who have it will gain or move to liver failure, gastrointestinal failure, renal failure, and then ultimately death. So um, looking for these warning signs, the lung dysfunction is usually the uh, beginning sign, metabolic increase, slight fever, mental changes, and these other things are in play. Direct trauma, septic shock, um, systemic inflammatory response syndrome, chronic illness in the elderly, post-surgery, someone with malnutrition, or someone suffering from immunosuppression. Uh, this may be part of the issue. Uh, in dealing with it, uh, certainly from a nursing standpoint, um, it's important to maintain nutrition, tissue perfusion, those sorts of things. And then, obviously, if the person survives, then there may need to be some education follow-up wise to teach the person how to deal with possible permanent uh, results of having suffered from multiple organ dysfunction syndrome.